a grand welcome for the Turkish Prime Minister Ahmed Daoud Oglu when he arrived in Islamabad on a state visit. Growing wave of Islamophobia and particularly drawing of anti-Islamic cartoons in the West caught the attention of Prime Ministers of both countries. I shared my deep anguish and undeserved condemnation of any attempts to vilify Islam and justify sacrilegious acts towards the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, in the name of freedom of expression. Pakistan and Turkey have reaffirmed their resolve to work together to oppose any form of Islamophobia. The top leaders also signed 11 memorandums of understanding to expand cooperation in the field of economy, defense, trade, energy, communications, education, culture and tourism. But that was not all. Ankara wants Islamabad to shut down chain of school and colleges which belongs to Turkish opposition group Hizmet Movement. Analysts said that despite enjoying close ties with the Turkey, it is very difficult for Pakistan to ban these institutions as their activities apparently do not breach any law of the land. The opposition Turkish figure Fatihullah Gulan has released a series of alleged scandals targeting Turkish government. Erdogan has a problem with Turkish schools, basically Fatihullah Gulen, uh, in the domestic political scenario. And he's pushing that agenda across the borders. Pakistan will treat the issue diplomatically. Pakistan will continue to operate the schools, but monitor them more closely. Fatihullah Gulen, the head of Hizmet movement, is living in self-exile in the U.S. His network of schools is spread in over 150 countries. Javed Rana... Press TV, Islamabad.